BC in Toronto, an owned and operated station of the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, with a picture signal strength of 77,000 watts and a sound signal strength of 7,500 watts. Our principal transmitter is on top of the CN Tower, which broadcasts to metropolitan Toronto and adjacent areas. Repeat transmitters extend our broadcast area to include Wawa, White River, Horn Payne, Manitowage, Beardmore, and Geraldton. If you have any comments or suggestions about our programs, please address them to CBLT, CBC Toronto, care of the program director, Post Office Box 500, Station A, Toronto, Ontario. The postal code is M5W1E6. We hope you enjoy our programming for today. government is the target of angry public service strikers, but Canadians bear the brunt as day two of the walkout begins. Good morning, I'm Joanne Sick. And you're watching the CBC Morning News Live from Newsroom Halifax. Good morning, I'm George Boyd. And later this hour, we'll go live to Ottawa for the latest news in the PSAC strike. More details now in the news. I'm Joanne. Joanne? Thanks, George. The nationwide strike by federal public servants is entering its second day today, and that means Canadians can expect more problems if they need to. This is usually provided by the striking employees. Yesterday, the strikers caused havoc in many locations, blocking roads, airports, and governments. But the president of the Treasury Board says Ottawa won't be legislating the employees back to work, at least not yet. And Jill Wazel says services that are essential are still being maintained, but many other services are not. Alan Gar has more on the story. Public servants walked out from coast to coast. In Halifax, they tied up the harbor and they tied up the airport. In Ottawa, there were some problems holding the line. Although this contract worker got nothing but grief when he tried to cross. And merchants in Vancouver picketed the picketers, said the picket line was hurting business. In London, the Prime Minister's car was met by about 100 angry strikers. He was on the way to a Tory fundraiser. Members of his cabinet who tried to walk through the line needed police protection. The government says there will be no... We don't sleep, we hardly eat. Paul Carvalho, CBC News, Huntington. Last night, the children's parents took their petition to the school board. The board turned them down. But today, the parents are going to the company that operates the bus to demand that Wilbur Stoll get his job back. The time right now, 13 minutes past the hour, 17 minutes to a Newfoundland. Dismal weather here in the east today. It's sunny in St. John's, Newfoundland, but it's cloudy. Points in the Maritimes, rain in the Montreal-Toronto corridor. Let's now take a look at the entire country. Boston Red Sox gained a little ground on the Jays. The uh, Bo Sox moved to within five games of Toronto after beating Cleveland last night. Four to three, Toronto and Detroit day off. The Jays will be opening a series at home tonight against the Seattle Mariners and the Tigers and the Bo Sox start a two-game series so they can beat each other for a while. In the NL, the Expos made it uh, five in a row, beating the New York Mets four to three. LA still has a half-game lead over Atlanta in the NL West to update you there. Canada clinched first place in the round-robin portion of the Canada Cup. Canada tied the Soviets three all in Quebec City last night. Eric Lindros got a few boos, but there were cheers when he scored Canada's first goal of the game. The Swedes beat the Czechs 5-2, and the Americans beat the Finns by a score of 4-3. Canada will be meeting Sweden in the semifinals on Thursday. And officials in Indianapolis expect boxer Mike Tyson to show up later this week and post bail. Tyson has been indicted in Indiana on rape charges. That is Sports Notes. We'll have details and highlights for you in about 20 minutes. 
When we return, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> when we return to the overseas market, our business commentator Pat Ballin will stop by. You're with the CBC Morning News live from Newsroom Halifax. Well, there you go. Thanks. At the Olive Garden Italian restaurant, we speak a different language. We have no words for can't and won't and impossible. No phrases for a little less or not too much. In fact, we don't know the meaning of enough. Some would say speaking a different language can make all the difference in the world. The Olive Garden Italian Rand, where all the best of Italy is yours. Since 1989, more than 200,000 students have been inspired by the film educational program. From backstage to onstage, students have experienced an informative look at the magnificent Canadian production of The Phantom of the Opera. It's a lesson they will never forget. Book now to guarantee free bus transportation. Call 925-766. Certain restrictions may apply. This is the largest paving stone sale of its kind. It's huge, it's Clear the yard sale featuring no payments and no interest till March 1992. Every participating Unilock dealer and factory outlet have all first grade pavers and reading walls to sell off and clear out. Plus, right now, Unilock is offering no payments and no interest till March 1992 on all do-it-yourself participating authorized contractor projects. See the Unilock ad in this week's Star Week at Toronto Sun TV Guides. In France, Belle is our word for beauty, and Belle Color from Laboratoire Garnier is our favorite choice for beautiful hair color. Belle Color is so gentle on your hair, really easy to use because it's a cream. Belle Color gives hair natural-looking color and beautiful condition. Best of all, Belle Color completely takes away any sign of gray. Belle Color, the first cream hair color from Laboratoire Garnier. This business report is brought to you in part by Priority Club, the world's best frequent flyer prem from Holiday Inn.